Plankton, 15 degrees now, beautiful sunny day. Uh, temperatures dropped drastically from two days ago and winter is coming. The minimum temperature right now is about 5 degrees in the morning and night. Um, it's very cold. I would like to be somewhere else to be honest. But I accept the current situation and trying to cool myself a little bit more. Now I have a hoodie to bring it with me. The wind is quite cold. Uh, for sure I just don't want to talk about the weather. I found it a uh, shallow conversation. I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the last few months I was here, uh, I started when I was in the Gold Coast and um, well, due to the expenses of uh, my car and my lifestyle, I really needed to recover a little bit of money and I was desperately looking for a job and uh, eventually I found this job in a pack house in Roversbourne. Is about two, two and a half hours drive west from Brisbane. And um, I moved there. Uh, in the beginning, I was staying in this uh, beautiful camping uh, with a lake and a lot of wildlife as kangaroos around. But it became, um, after a week, a bit uncomfortable, well. especially because of the rain. So I started looking for a, a place to stay um, with a roof on my um, on the top, and uh, I eventually found this um, room to rent in uh, Highfields, which is yeah about th twenty five uh, minutes uh, from work. One hundred fifty dollars per week, a bit expensive. Um, but it was worth for the comfort that I have right now. A king size bed, a Wi Fi, a garden with a swimming pool that I used to use um, in the beginning when it was not uh, that cold. In the beginning, the boss Joe told me uh, the work was about. Uh, three days a week um, and that was it uh, for four weeks we worked 20 uh, to 30 hours per week and the last the last week we work only two days 11 hours not much so I couldn't save enough money as I wanted and um, during this period of work I had a lot of free time and I really enjoyed it um, as I really mentioned, I started um, an online course of nutrition. Um, I was going outside, um, walking, uh, running, exercising. Um, after this period where we were packing this um, early season uh, Shepard avocados, um, they finished and before the start of the house, the boss called us and um, tell us about two three weeks of break uh, two three weeks uh, is about 300 450 dollars of rent <coughs> I found this announcement on Facebook um, they were looking for volunteers in this um, farm where they used to uh, do some permaculture and well I said to myself the reason why I came to Australia I directly contact the farm I send a message on Facebook and um, she replied me with um, with her phone number I talked to Francine and she told me well you know you can come um, as soon as you're free there's a lot of job to do so I was very happy to be able to um, to find straightforward uh, an opportunity 
but I could save money and I could do something useful uh, for this farm and for nature. So Francine and uh, Tali, uh, Tali is the daughter of Francine. <laughs> Say hello Tali. Hello. <laughs> they are the girls who run the farm and uh, they're beautiful people. They have a farm of 160 acres, about 65 hectares, uh, which is pretty big. They're very well prepared, but they went on uh, a period of about five years of drought. With this weather, a lot of uh, trees that they planted died. Um, they did a lot of work on um, shovels and uh, with the excavators, they created different dams to retain the water. Um, but um, when rain doesn't come, so I left on uh, on Saturday, and um, um, I got there in the evening. I met Francine. Uh, I met Nick, British guy. They cancelled his flight to go back to London and um, he got stuck here and he also found a way um, to save money. So he showed me uh, the house. He put me in this uh, eco house, uh, which was very nice. Um, all e electricity was um, provided by solar panel. And in the beginning it was a bit dirty, so I had to spend um, a few hours to clean. Uh, but then I felt really comfortable there. The best part of the house was its position. It was, it was on top of the hill and the view was simply amazing, especially for the dawn and sunset. Morning of uh, Sunday, Francine and Tali they they went to town to Gatton and they left me with a job of moving uh, a big aloe vera plant, which was on the way of the guardrail we were putting uh, for the edge of the garden bed, which was a big plan. Um, it took me about two two and a half hours of work. Uh, with a few breaks that I took and um, in the afternoon when they came back we separated the plants and uh, we planted them in different spots. Most of uh, the permaculture farms, uh, also this farm um, had a lot of animals in the land, uh, chickens, uh, dogs, gazes, sheep, um, cows and uh, horses um, where the horses uh, they were safe after the, the races when the horses are not uh, very performant they are sent to a slaughterhouse uh, these animals uh, they have a lot of space for themselves and uh, they are quite free um, they are not killed for their meat because um, the ladies get attached to them, they don't want to kill them. Next days um, we use this uh, lime powder and clay breaker, gypsum, be able to break down the clay and make the soil softer. Meanwhile we talk a lot about the permaculture concepts and especially how these concepts have to adapt to the climate and the area where the farm is. They lent me three very interesting books to read. The first one was talking about what to grow in this hot climate, hard soil and dry weather, uh, which is very interesting. Um, it uses uh, different techniques, uh, especially how to retain the water. The second one um, talks about the importance of money in a small farm which is not highly supported by the government. The title of the third one is uh, Everything I Wanna Do is 
illegal. And uh, this guy was trying to find um, a solution to whatever he wanted to do in his farm. One day we had a visitor from South Africa who wants to build a community. And um, so we jump on a car and they show him um, to me as well uh, different areas of the, the property. We went to the top of the hill, we saw different paddocks, uh, camping areas, all the dumps uh, to the top of the hill at the horses and uh, we saw a really beautiful landscape and we decided to spend our Easter there. On Wednesday, two girls, Marine from France and uh, Meli from uh, Argentina. They, they are working um, in the same avocado farm with me. They moved uh, with me in the Heco house. It was nice to share a lot of time with them. We, we talk a lot. Uh, also about veganism. We had um, nice and deep conversations. Um, we cook together and of course we work together to make this farm a better place. This day of work with them was in a different paddock where they planted a lot of trees, fruit trees and uh, flowers to attract bees and uh, butterflies. Over there we had to break down the soil which was very hard with a shovel and then uh, we put some uh, sawdust on top and after we plant some bush food. They are native plants, they come from the typical uh, Australian bush and they are able to survive with this uh, dry and hot weather and uh, they also provide some food um, some, of, some of them through their leaves um, some of them produces berries, uh, legumes, etc. After three other guys came to the farm two French and one Belgian and they went to stay in a camping down the hill with them we went uh, on top of the hill uh, for Easter. Francine and Tali prepare a nice coleslaw. Uh, we and the girls prepare the pasta salad, the hummus, the dal with rice. Everything was all plant-based. Uh, we spent uh, a nice time together and we play uh, pétanche. Day after uh, they gave me a uh, carte blanche for the cover of the garden bed. We already put these uh, arches from um, from the different posts uh, to create support, and then we stretch a net um, to make it stiffer, and then we put um, a lot of uh, cloth to make shade for the badges because uh, the sun is very hot, especially in the summer. Before leaving we got also another couple coming into the farm, an Argentinian girl and a French guy. The French guy is on, he's a plumber. He helped uh, Francine for a few jobs. And um, Catalina, she's a yoga teacher, very well prepared. After the girl uh, left on Tuesday morning, uh, they moved uh, with me in the Heco house. We didn't have enough time but we talk a little bit and um, she saw my situation where I'm, I'm not very flexible and suggest me some exercise uh, to do at home to improve my flexibility. So thank you very much Catalina. So this is it and thank you very much for watching this video till the end and uh, I wish you all the best um, and uh, a big hug. Bye.